Welcome to Dr. Yat Van Ha's Problem Box. In today's lesson, we are going to solve a problem. Let's see what problem we have for today. What problem do we have from the problem box today? We have nine digits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. The problem today is to use the nine digits to make three numbers. Three, three digit numbers. So that the sum of two of them is equal to the other. In other words, using the nine digits, you make three numbers. Every number is a three digit number. And when you add two of them together to get a sum, the sum must be the other number. This is clearly not correct because 456 and 789 is not 213. Our problem today is to rearrange the digits so that the equation, the addition equation is correct. Let's try. How far are you in solving the problem? Have you managed to get at least one solution? Our problem today is arranging nine digits, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so that we can form this addition equation. What can we do? I suppose we can try to guess and then check whether we are right or not. Not sure what we can do. I'm just wondering whether or not I might get a number that is 900 something. Might that be possible to get 900 something? One way to get 900 something is to have 700 something and 200 something. Not sure whether it would work. And I have six. I can try three. Oh, but that's not possible because I've used nine already. So three is not. I can try four. Should I try four? Of course not, because six and four is 10 and I have no zero in this problem. I could try five, that will give me 11 and 11 is a possibility because I have a one here. So I must remember that I have 10 to be added to whatever I have here. I wonder if three, four and eight can give me a correct equation. So I suppose the method of guess and check might be helpful. Can I leave this to you and try to get at least a few possibilities? What's one possible equation? Do you think we are on the right track with this one? We still have those digits left, I suppose this might work. That would give us 70. But remember the 10 from the 11. Is this a possible equation? If you manage to get one solution, can you try to get another one? And if you have two solutions, do you think you can find more?
in the problem of arranging digits 1 to 9 in the 9 spaces to make a correct addition equation, how many equations did you manage to get? One equation? Two equations? Maybe even more? If you find today's lesson easy, you can challenge yourself. One way to challenge ourselves is to ask questions like this. For the sum of 981, we already managed to get two different equations. How many different equations are possible for that particular sum? Another way we can challenge ourselves is to try to find all the possible sums. We got 981. We also got 792. We also got 783. And we got a lot of others. Another way to challenge ourselves is to try to find out if there's anything interesting about the sums in the equations that we managed to get. Is there anything interesting between the two sums that we see here? That's another way to challenge ourselves. Any interesting pattern that you managed to see? 567 837 Anything interesting about them? Anything similar about them? Anyway, we also have a bunch of possibilities like this ones. 819 891 And another one 981 Do you notice anything? That's another way to challenge ourselves to try to figure out all the possible sums and perhaps any interesting pattern or observations that you manage to notice about the sums in all the equations. Those are some ways we can challenge ourselves. See you in another problem box. I can't forget the day we met Your eyes are blue, me piercing through I can't forget the